Hey guys, Lee Tafter, welcome to Speed Tips from My Garage. In the classroom today is number 103. I want to talk about rowing today. And I'm going to particularly talk about young kids in rowing and the benefit of it. Okay, I think there's tremendous value in rowing. Certainly we know all the value from a postural standpoint, healthy shoulders and, and all those type of things. But what about with young kids when we're teaching them? How should we progress them and or regress them um, into becoming really efficient at it. But here's the thing you always have to remember when you're dealing with the youngsters is how much can we integrate total body movement? Because when we start to isolate patterns with the young kids for a, a lengthy period of time, it's probably not a great thing, all right? Now, I might have to isolate a movement just so they feel what it is I'm trying to get them to do, but that's just a coaching strategy. That isn't a, an actual methodology that I'm gonna use to, uh, for consistent you know, length of time, all right? So one of the things I like to do when um, I'm working on rowing with my athletes, my young, my young kids, okay? And again, we're talking, you know, seven, eight, nine years old, 10 years old, you know, that age even, is I will use tubing. And I have, this is heavier tubing than I would use with younger kids. I have actually a pink colored band, which is extremely light. So I can go at any, any level I need. But I like them to learn to row from their feet, okay? When they learn to row from their feet, what happens is not only do they understand how to organize their body, they start to feel it, and we can help them and correct them anytime. You know, if you get them and they get that, you know, that rounded shoulder, they kind of pull like this. One of the things that will help them is just like getting them into an athletic stance is get their arm above their head. All you have to do is one arm, okay? If you do two, that's fine, but you're gonna want them to hold the tubing. One arm above the head, that gets them into some extension, and then squat, and then lower down and grab on. Now they're in a good position. And now by performing standing rows like this, I get the benefit of the strength and the pattern of retraction, protraction from my upper body, but I'm also getting great work in my lumbar spine from holding this position and not getting pulled forward. So I'm developing great neuromuscular control and musculature of these young kids through their spinal erectors. Now the other part, and this is the goal for me, is I actually get them to start to work on decelerating their body from being pulled forward. So if I got really tall and tried to pull this, it's gonna win, it's gonna pull me forward. So by the athlete getting down in a good athletic stance, they're working on decelerating. They're working on their lower body musculature to help control being pulled forward. Now they're learning how to become stable, okay? That's one of the first steps in getting them stable. If I wanna add a, another variation to this and add a little bit more uh, stimulus, I'll go with a single arm because now this, it, the pull of this is rotating me. So now not only do they get the extension, okay, or maintaining a position of extension or at least new, neutral position, but they're also having to fight the transverse plane. So I can lock them in and hold them there, or I can let them work through it, and they're gonna develop great control in the transverse plane, as well as controlling themselves through sagittally being pulled forward. Now, you're gonna have the, certainly the, in your toolbox, you're gonna have you know, them be able to do like a bend over row, things like that. Those are all great. Those are all excellent. Even using straps and more uh, in rowing, laying underneath something like what we call a lying pull-up. So they lie down and they pull themselves up. All of them are great. Use them all because I do. But this is my favorite when I'm really trying to develop a connection, an integration of the feet on the ground and the ability of the athlete to use those feet to be stable, to help stabilize the joints up through the rest of the body and be able to perform a rowing action, which is important. Because in a lot of activities that they're gonna play, that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna have to do it from their feet and figure out how to organize the pattern on, you know, in, in an instant, okay? They're not gonna have a lot of time to be able to think, I gotta get my shoulders like this. They just have to play. This is a great exercise to help build the foundation of that, okay? Hey, we'll see you next time for number 104. Have an awesome Sunday, guys. See you soon.